Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook. Well, we've been talking about this area of some disturbed weather in the northwestern Gulf of Mexico for a couple of days now. Now, as of right now, no tropical development is expected, but it will bring some more rain chances as we get into later this week. Out the door right now, though, satellite and radar, most of the storm activity is well off to our south southwest. Here locally, we're mainly on the drier side outside of a few isolated pop up showers and a few storms over the more northern zone. You see southern areas on the drier side, but just off to the north, though, we do have a couple of these isolated pop up showers that have Kind of popped up over this afternoon. See a couple of these outflow boundaries kind of moving away from some of these storms, and they may help spark a few isolated showers. But again, they're rather isolated in the nature and in coverage. And as you get to and near sunset, we'll see this activity will begin to wane and dissipate. And we're back on the more drier side for the entire area as you go through the rest of tonight. Though out there right now, though it's warmer out there. It's humid, 96 degrees, but it feels like 102 degrees at the airport. So definitely warm, hot, and humid out there with a high humidity content. Overnight lows tonight though will be warm and mild and of course muggy with lows in the lower to mid 70s about 77 degrees here in Baton Rouge the lower 70s off to the north near Liberty and Macomb near 72 degrees for our overnight lows for tomorrow morning. Now tomorrow will be very similar to our Monday today with highs once again in the lower to mid 90s about 96 here in Baton Rouge. Humidity will still be a little bit high so our heat index values they will still top out once again in the lower 100s for most of the area. About 1 or 3 Baton Rouge, 1 or 5 up near Jackson, maybe 1 or 6 in some areas as well. So it will be another hot and humid day. And we do have a chance for a few isolated showers once again. So it's kind of time out that rain chance for you. We have a stationary front just to the north. So that's providing some nice chances for some showers for our area, more northern areas tonight and this evening. That will begin to move off into the uh, west and will dry overnight. Now tomorrow morning on the drier side, we'll see some sunshine throughout the morning morning hours and a few clouds here and there throughout the day and then the afternoon hours more so the late afternoon early evening that's when we'll have a chance for more of these isolated showers and storms pop, pop up over the area again rather hit or miss in nature and some of us may just stay on the drier side for our Tuesday not until Wednesday we get that tropical moisture to move in from the south and so throughout the day on Wednesday we're going to see some more numerous showers and storms uh, throughout most of the day Wednesday and still kind of lingering as well into our Thursday so we see a lot of tropical moisture moved in from that disturbance Again, no tropical development expected, but it will bring some deeper moisture in by Wednesday into our Thursday, still lingering around. And that's going to bring some widespread showers and some storms as well. Some rain may be heavy at times, and it may provide an isolated chance for some flash flooding for our more low-lying and urban areas. But look as we go toward about Friday into Saturday, another front's going to come through, and we'll get some drier air to move in. And so that means lower dew points and some lower humidity as well. So dew points next seven days, it will still be much humid through at least Friday to early Saturday. Notice by Sunday to Monday though, they drop into maybe the upper 40s and lower 50s, so it might feel like fall a little bit by early next week. So we'll see next seven day forecast. We'll see the best chance for rain, showers, storms Wednesday, Thursday, drying out by Saturday to Sunday for the new work week, new work week, and our morning lows may actually be into the 60s.